All right, hello everybody, and welcome to episode 51 of my Gateway Experience. Thank you so much for tuning in. The purpose of these videos is to document my journey through the Monroe Institute's Gateway Experience. The Gateway Experience is a series of six waves with six tapes in each wave, and I am currently on the second wave called Threshold. The first wave was called Discovery, and I am on the first tape of the second wave called Introduction to Focus 12. So that's what it's all about, Focus 12. If you haven't seen any of my other videos, go ahead and check those out because I will be building upon some of the things that we've talked about before. So let's get right into it. Right now it is October 14th, 2022. It's 1040 a.m. This morning I woke up at like 830. Last night went to sleep at like, I want to say 11. Sounds about right. Yeah, so um, it has been a slightly different schedule today. Just a little bit later than usual. That's why it's so bright outside while I'm recording this. Um, yesterday I woke up at 5 and I went ahead and put that video up, episode 50. And I want to build on some of the things that we talked about then. You know, just because when I did my morning uh, routine today and I did my practice of the uh, eighth time doing the Focus 12, Introduction to Focus 12 tape, uh, I went ahead and experienced that and it was good. We went through our pre-preparation process and everything. And I was able to stay awake even longer than yesterday. And so with that, I was able to gather certain things that I want to talk about right now. And ma mainly I want to build on the knowledge, the knowing, the um, understanding that we are more than our physical body. And I went ahead and explained that in some of my other videos. Uh, what it is that I mean by that, um, and uh, really just standing outside of time and space as the waves come and go, and I think it's powerful to stay on top of that and be aware and in tuned and polarized to our higher self. So, our higher self, what does that mean? It's up to you to decide. And so, um, that is who we are and what we are. Well, now I want to talk about coming back down into our physical reality. Even though we are more, we come from more. Um, that's part of the tape as he's got us going from focus 12 to focus 10 to focus 10 to focus 12. Uh, from focus 10 to focus 12. And, um, and that's one of the things that, uh, that we practice. So now I want to talk about the real life application of Focus 12 to focus 10. Not saying that that is not real life, because it is, but more so the physical um, rep expression of the focus 12 to focus 10. And that is seen as our habits. What are our, what are our habits? Knowing that we are not our habits, obviously because we are more than our physical body, what is it that we partake in on a day-to-day -day basis? Uh, obviously, this is one of my habits, is tuning in and, and polarizing myself to my higher self. But I remember when I was growing up, I used to try to accomplish the same thing, and I would get a copy or a proxy, a duplicate. I would get a, a replica or a, a fake, basically, by playing video games. And I was trying to tune into my higher self and the way um, I would just basically relate with this character that was standing outside of time space. And I was a role playing game, video game nerd player. That was me. And I would love to do that. Um, largely because I felt disconnected from my environment. And, uh, but I also felt super connected to this video game character. And so that was one of my habits. I would play it um, ad nauseum and uh, to where I would shift reality. Now, I'm grateful that that happened because I've got that perspective and that background to move forward. Um, but the, the real 
person that you want to be is yourself. Um, you don't want to be this idle, uh, non real life character because then you're sacrificing your feminine energy, which is your emotions. And that's what I used to do. And, uh, basically being like a beast, you know, and, um, that's not good at all. We need to make sure that we are being in tune with our uh, emotions because they are really the uh, sacred aspect of our uh, universe, which uh, entunes ourselves with nature, with uh, other humans, uh, and understanding that we are not just one, but we are all. Uh, and so coming back to our habits from that higher uh, concept thinking, um, you know, when we wake up, I, I don't make my bed, my wife does, um, but uh, I wake up, you know, I brush my teeth and I do these things. And I know that there's a lot of habits that maybe you guys might have that you know deep down that you want to maybe replace with something more productive. That's where I came into this tape, the gateway experience. Um, it's so, uh, it just allowed me to tune back into myself, not into this video game character, not into a compound or a substance, not into uh, uh, mathematics, which was another thing that gave me certainty, um, but really just in my intuition. And uh, knowing yourself is knowing the universe. That's something that comes back up over and over and over again. And so um, that's the main thing. But then after that, you know, work life and all this, then it comes to relationships. What are our relationships like? Uh, you know, uh, because if we are the five people that we spend most of our time with, my habits are likely to, uh, not likely, even subconsciously align with other people's habits. And, uh, and that's just the way it works, um, just by proximity not even necessarily by living, but literally just by an interaction, unless you make the conscious effort to uh, stop that from happening. Um, and uh, and that's really uh, one of the biggest things because kind of like how I talked about in yesterday's video, uh, our environment is full of screens and visions that are being told, they're called televisions to us and uh, and we look around and if we don't make a conscious effort to come back to our present and know where it is and visualize and see where it is that we want to end up, then it's very easy to be taken away and really mind controlled and entertained by another entity or someone that is more uh, committed to their uh, vision of the future. And so, um, yeah, that's what I want to say. I want to say, you know, what are your habits and what is your commitment to your future? That's going to be my question of today, coming back to our physical reality and knowing and remembering that we are more than our physical reality. And so let me know in the comments down below. Until next time, I will see you guys soon. Peace.